A federal judge tosses a dummy crat funded lawsuit to remove witness requirement on absentee ballots. Look at that. Yeah, the, the, basically the Democrats were trying to push some lawsuit that was going to remove the re witness requirement on absentee ballots. Okay. And they lost. The judge tossed it. So that's good. Uh, the lawsuit filed by a law firm and Democrat election lawyer, Mark Elias. Ooh, that guy. That's the guy that helped steal 2020 and 2022. They sought to cancel the witness requirement for voters who cast absentee ballots on grounds that it violated the Voting Rights Act of 1965 and the Civil Rights Act of 1964. At least that's a revision, right, by the way. The original was like in the 1800s. Uh, in a scathing ruling, the U.S. District Judge James Pat Peterson said that the demand simply does not make any sense. The ruling was celebrated by Derek Lyons, president of Restore Integrity and Trust. In elections, the acronym for that organization is RITE, like Rite Aid, who described it as a failed attempt by liberal activists to undermine the integrity of Americans' electoral process. Jason Sneed, executive director of Honest Selections Project, similarly applauded the ruling. In simple terms, one might be forgiven for asking why Democrats want to remove the witness requirement unless they were seeking to subvert the system and carry out selection fraud. Nonetheless, not, not needless to say, that is exactly what they have in mind. Uh, I mean, they're gonna do it anyways. I mean, just look at look at what was it? Was it Wisconsin or was it was it Detroit? I think it was Detroit, where they had like stacks and stacks and stacks of ballots that had the exact same signature and the exact same registered cell phone number. So uh, they're gonna do it anyway. They're just gonna have they're gonna sign the same signature as the voter and the the witness. And unfortunately, because ballots are anonymized, how do you audit that? How do you figure out who did it? 